Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, so um, as I mentioned last week, I'm having issues with my jaw at the moment. Um, and I wasn't intending this one initially to be like a full on from that one, although I was gonna sort of like say, hey, yeah, my jaw is still hurting. So it's probably not gonna be long. Um, okay, so I filmed the last one last Thursday and then the following day I did actually attempt to do another eating salt because I needed to. Um, and the pain level had sort of come down a little bit, so I put it through to five, which allowed me to complete the e consult. But I knew I wasn't going to hear anything until Monday. Um, so I didn't see anything because obviously I was working Monday. I say obviously I was working Monday, I was working Monday, um, so I was expecting there to be a missed call or something like that. What I ended up having was an email, and despite in my final notes for the e consult saying, hey, I have these pain conditions and I know that painkillers do not work. Um, I had an email saying, yeah, it's been five years since you last tried this painkiller. Let's try it again. I was not happy. Especially when I looked to see which one it was and I was like, yeah, that's one of the least effective ones. It's like I've I've had like a five year gap with it before, and it's still not done anything. And it does make me feel sick, even when like I follow the directions correctly, and it still makes me feel sick. So I was like, okay, I'm not, I'm I'm really not happy, and I rejected the prescription. And I was like, no, I'm not, I'm not even going to think about trying to take that because I already know a, it's not going to help. Um, and B, it's going to make me feel sick, and I don't want to have to put myself through that again. So after I, I had a little bit of uh, anger fit because I just get so frustrated. Like this is the thing. This is not the first time where I've been told, "Here, we're going to chuck painkillers at it," and then left whatever appointment it is, because it's usually an appointment, feeling very angry that that is what they're making me do. Um, and then what I usually tend to do is get the prescription. And I know it sounds weird, but I take the painkillers out of protest to prove that they're not going to work. Um, <laughs> and they don't, and they tend to make me feel sick. So I usually give it a week and then go like, this is not working and then phone up and then be like, no, we need to do something else. Let's like, I've done this hoop, let's do something else. Um, this time I was like, I can't, I can't keep putting my body through that just because they need me to. I know it's not going to work. I know from experience it's not going to work. If I've never had any pain relief from this medication in the past, why would five years of not having it make a difference? Um, so yeah, I phoned up. And I'm like, look, I, I'm sorry and I apologise if I sound like I'm going to be ranting. I don't want me to come across like that. I'm just a little bit, you know, upset at this as a response. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm not taking painkillers. I know I'm not going to work. I don't want painkillers as an answer to this because it doesn't do anything. Um, so the receptionist got the, the nurse who'd written the email to re-look over it and... Uh, about an hour or so later, I got a call from her and she was like, well, if you don't want painkillers, what do you want? I was like, everything else works better. <laughs> I was like, like, I don't know if physio is an option for jaw problems, um, but I do know that I respond better to things like physio. I respond so much better to alternative solutions to painkillers. All painkillers do is make the situation worse. Um, so I, I now have a referral. <laughs> um, I've looked up what the referral is to, and it seems to be um, to basically it, it's a facial specialist. I mean, they refer to it as a surgeon, but from like the looks of it, it's more than just like surgery that they do. 
they do sort of like look into the issues with the jaw and it's you know do proper examination and stuff like that um but it, it is referred to as a particular kind of surgeon which is like great <laughs> that's that seems like the right direction <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that I even remotely think that I need an operation on my jaw necessarily, but it could be um, that I might need like steroid injections and stuff. I've looked into like the various different alternative treatments to jaw pain, um, and there are a lot of other alternative treatments to jaw pain <laughs> that are not like surgery or painkillers. Um, and in the meantime, I'm just continuing with like trying to massage it, trying to uh, stretch, no, I say stretch, trying to exercise it in, in, in inappropriate ways and stuff like that. So I don't know how long that referral is going to take to come through. Um, and one of the other things the nurse did suggest is trying to ice it. And I'm like, mm hmm, sure, yeah, I'll try that. Um, there is a very specific reason I don't try icing things unless it's um unless it's irritant related as in unless i've got a rash or something is really itchy um i don't go with cooling the area i would rather like use a heat pack or have a bath um the reason being is it hurts like it hurts more than the pain that it's trying to affect um i am extremely sensitive to the cold um and it's something that I've noticed more and more um, over the last uh, few years. But like holding something that is cold, it's physically painful, not just for like the area that it's pressed against, but like say I've got it in my hand, it, yeah, it's, it's no, it's um, like even if I've got like a layer in between, it's, it's physically very painful um, for me to, to use ice packs and stuff. Um, so I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not going to do that specific one. Um, I am going to do things like having more baths, um, because that does help sort of help relax the muscles better for me. Um, I know, like for other people, ice packs are incredibly effective because it, it helps reduce the swelling. But I, I think for me, it's the case of it's not necessarily the joint isn't necessarily swelling as much as it is like the muscles around it are tired um so i think like the heat method will probably work better for me but i i get i don't know i'm just guessing it's not swollen because it doesn't feel swollen but i don't know but i do know that ice hurts so i'm not gonna go with that method <laughs> like everything else i was like yeah i'll try i mean and she did also then say you could at least try you know, the painkillers that I prescribed you, I'm like, yeah, no, I know those ones make me sick. She's like, well, yeah, that's why you take it with food. And I'm like, no, I follow instructions to a T because I'm trying to prove a point and get through a step that I'm being forced to get through, even though I know it's not effective. I, you know, I'm very, very strict with how I do take painkillers for that reason. And it still makes me feel sick. Um... And she was like, oh, maybe your stomach is just a little bit more sensitive to, to it than, than other people's. And I'm like, yeah, probably, probably. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm still not going to take painkillers. But I was like, oh, just, like, why make myself feel sick for no pain relief? Um, so, yeah, that's, that's kind of how things are sitting this week. Um, no idea when the referral is going to come through, um, pain in my jaw is sort of very much at the moment, it's not gone to the same extremes, but I have been very good about resting it as much as possible whilst I've been in work and not doing anything that necessarily irritates it. Um, it tends to be like aching and uncomfortable quite a lot, um, and like talking now is definitely irritating it. Um, so it's, yeah, it's definitely something that yeah, okay, I've gotten used to the amount of pain that it's in at this point, so I'm now registering it as background noise, um, which is always a dangerous position for me to be in, because as soon as I start registering something as background noise, I then assume that the pain level is lower because I'm no longer irritated by it. Um, that's not necessarily the truth. 
um, and that also then makes me complacent and then I use it more and then it flares up again so I this is like the phase where I need to be the most careful at not overusing it um, but yeah it's, it's definitely I mean even if it does sort of settle itself out before I go to see anybody it is I still get repeated flares it's not like I had one flare up five years ago and then nothing and then I've had another flare up I get a flare up every few months um, usually not as bad as this, usually doesn't last for as long as this, but I do get fairly regular flare-ups, so it's definitely, there is an underlying issue that definitely needs to be looked into, um, and definitely needs to be addressed, um, because like, yeah, the, the, like even doing the type of job that I do, if this was a normal thing that happened to most, then I would not be the only person in my store that's been working there for over five years that experiences something like this and I know pretty much that I am so there is definitely something there specifically within the way that my jaw is structured or built that has made me more prone to getting these flare-ups so regardless I need it to be looked into I need it to be addressed um now whilst there's still a chance of mitigating it getting worse especially because it has proven that it will get a lot worse um, and can be a lot worse so yeah it's very much that sort of situation i'm in now um hopefully next week i won't be doing another hey it's a jaw update video um i yeah but i don't know something may happen between now and next week i doubt it referrals tend to take like at least a few weeks to hear anything back from um you know if you're lucky um so yeah all right um so i'm gonna wrap this one up now um i hope you found the update sort of interesting um i hope you're looking forward to seeing whatever i'm talking about next time and i will see you next time see ya if you've enjoyed this video, consider checking out some of my others, and if you like what you see, consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching, see ya!